You're tuned into WFMU. In the background, we're hearing actual recordings made in the middle of my colonoscopy. My name is Ken Friedman, and I've spent the last 25 years just trying to keep this radio station alive. The best show on WFMU is back for another Tuesday night installment. Freeform listener-sponsored radio, WFMU. Comparing FMU to a commercial radio station is like comparing National Geographic to People magazine. But you don't turn into FMU to hear like what's the latest song on the Billboard chart or anything like that, because most likely you don't give a f about that. What's the next song on the set list, Petey? This is called Chami Mami, and uh, okay. it's about Noam Chomsky being my mother. Yeah! I came to WFMU, and I said, anyway, I could DJ. And they're like, yeah, you can get a radio show, and you, you, you name it. All you gotta do is you gotta work here in the office for a year. Oh, hell no. You just know that whoever's dropping that needle on that scratchy old record is doing it because they love it. So the news is not good on the financial front. We'll, we'll run out of money this fall. There's only one place like this. All this corporate stuff going on. By all rights, this place should be owned by Pillsbury at this point. I just want there to be a WFMU. I want WFMU to exist as a place where people can go who don't fit in. Ken Friedman here live from my lawn chair, where they are attaching balloons to me as I speak. It's a cause, it's a cultural outlet, it's my family, it's like my religion. I was inspired by the Brazilian balloon priest who shot 20,000 feet above sea level, and of course, he was found uh, dead. Whoa! But he made one serious mistake, my friends, that I shall not make today. He was not raising money for WFMU.